up guys, my name's Hannah Jade, welcome back to my channel. So I was going through my old YouTube videos that are on my channel and I came across the one that I did like four or five years ago called What's In My School Bag and I was kind of like flicking through it because obviously I don't watch the videos because they're so embarrassing. If you really want to go watch it I'll let you go watch it but I don't do it to myself, I just kind of like skip through and just see really tiny moments of it I can't watch anymore but I'm thinking how unrealistic that video was and I didn't use half of the stuff I said I took in that video like that beauty bag I took probably stayed at the bottom of my bag for the year so me and my friends were talking um, a couple of weeks ago about six or what we used to do in our free periods a lot and I was thinking how different a sixth form of bag is compared to what you take to high school. I thought for this video that I would film a realistic what sixth formers take to sixth form. Because it's completely different to what that video I filmed five years ago was. Let's get into this video. I know what's in my bags are quite old. But I just thought a much more realistic version of what sixth formers take would be quite a good video. So yeah, let's go. Also, quick note, I'm having to use natural light in here because of, I don't have any studio lights, sadly. So, it might be a bit dodgy, but we'll just go with it. So, first thing, obviously, I used to have in 6 on was my phone. Obviously, I used to have my phone, iPhone 8 Plus. In my 6 on we were allowed our phones out in, like, independent studies and free periods, obviously. And majority lessons, our teachers would let, them have, let us have them out as long as if they wanted to speak to us, we didn't go on them. But this was very important, my phone was, obviously for music during lessons, social media, texting my mates, basically this would be used 24-7 during sixth form. The bag I used for sixth form was this Calf Kidston one and it's a woodland creature one which I absolutely love. A lot of the girls used to have like handbags but I couldn't be bothered with that, I just thought backpacks easier. So the first and most important thing I used to take, other than my phone, I'm going to put my bag down here, was this. So I used to take my laptop, my MacBook, and in year 12 I used to take it like very rarely. Year 13 however, I used to take this every single day. A lot of my work I used to have to do on, lap on my laptop, so like I used to have to write drama essays on it, I used to do a lot of health and social work on my laptop because it was coursework. My photography was obviously a lot of editing, which would al always be on this. But other reasons to take a laptop, online shopping. If you get bored in a free, do some online shopping. Netflix. The amount of times I'd watch Netflix, if for some reason I was in a free on my own, my friends weren't there, I didn't have any, well, I always had work to do. But if for some reason I didn't want to do the work, Netflix on this was a beauty. So, I probably shouldn't say this out loud, but that's some of the reasons I used to take this with me. Phone charger, obviously. If you're on your phone quite a lot during the day, this is always comes in handy. And a lot of people will say, has anyone got a phone charger to borrow? And to be fair, I used to have to use it sometimes to connect my phone to my laptop for photography. Laptop charger from take if I, when I used to take my laptop. This was needed if I'd been using my laptop late at night, the night before, and I'd forgotten to charge it. Most of the time I'd charge it and it'd have 100% and I wouldn't take this. But there were some times that I'd forget to charge it overnight and then it'd be dead in the morning. So I needed to make sure if I did that I remembered this. Because of there could be some days I could be on my laptop every lesson just because of how my timetable fell. Water bottle, obviously. I used to use my Love Island one quite a lot. It just says my name on it, obviously. But obviously a water bottle for school. Something else that I would always have in my bag because if I would have either gone to the shops or there was vending machines in my school which was so dangerous would be chocolate. I'd usually have a chocolate bar but I just found some mini eggs and I thought I'd use mini eggs for this example which I think I'm going to eat these after this video. But there would always be chocolate in my bag because of you always need some form of food. Obviously a pencil case. Now, I didn't do very academic subjects, so I used to have, this is my, this was my pencil case, some highlighters, which never got used, because like I said, I didn't do academic subjects, so I didn't do, didn't have to write pages and pages of information, highlight important stuff. Ruler and pencils, these came in handy for my portfolios for photography. I then have like a couple of black pens, 
And um, because my portfolios were black and black pages and I used to have to do a lot of writing, I would then have a stupid amount of white pens in my pencil case. That was so in this pencil case, it's this full and it's just full of white pens. Because the amount I would go through for my photography. I counted them once I finished school and I had something like 20 white pens in here. That's ridiculous. How much money have I spent on white pens? Hairbrush and body spray. These came in handy quite a lot, especially once I decided to drive to school. If I woke up late and didn't have time to get ready really. Obviously I'd usually put body spray on at home and obviously I'd brush my hair at home. But if I'm in a rush and I do it very quickly, I like to be able to have these, I used to like to have these with me. I will be honest, this was usually in my car. Once I started to drive, I'd leave this in my car. If I'd only been able to do it really quickly before I left, I'd always top up on some body spray. Sunglasses. These are my Topeka sunglasses. Again, these used to be in my car, I'd leave these in my car. But sunglasses were again, another important item, another, uh, an important item, especially for summer. Because if once you or your friends drive, you will go out during your freeze. And if it's nice weather, we we had like a outdoor area in our sixth form that we'd go sit out in. So if it's sunny, you want some sunglasses. I did used to take a notebook with me, obviously. This notebook has actually got a list of what I need for this video. This is quite an academic item. Majority of that isn't, but obviously notebooks always come in handy for writing essays or for planning for my photography. So I did used to have to take a notebook with me. My earphones for listening to music in lessons or for watching Netflix. I would then have my lanyard. Obviously, I'm not going to show you because it says my school on it. Obviously, I'd have I'd have my lanyard in my bag at all times. I'd never wear it. My school used to tell us off for not wearing them. I'd never wear it unless it was like Ofsted day, and you had to show you're a part of the school. But if I could get away with it, my lanyard would be in my bag. Car keys. Obviously, I'd have my car keys on me once I started driving because of a, I drove to school, so I'd need them on me. And B, you go if you once you've got a car, you go out quite a lot if you're allowed out of school. We used to go on a lot of Mackie's trips. So car keys are always an important item. Because I was a photography student, I'd always have an SD card on me in case I used a school camera or somebody else's camera. And then I did a lot of computer work for my photography, so I'd usually have a couple of memory sticks on me. I'd always have spare change either in the bottom of my bag or in my car that I'd nip out and get because like I say we had vending machines in my school we had a snacks one and a drinks one the snacks one was obviously money the drinks one however which was lethal for me was contactless you could pay with money but you could pay with cash but you, it was contactless the amount of diet coke bottles I brought from that vending machine I don't even want to look at my bank account these are my portfolios I used to take it was I'd usually only have one I won't take all four don't worry but once I started to drive, I'd just leave them in the back of my car. I wouldn't take the case with me because I'd only have to walk from a car space, car parking space up to the school. Final thing which I can't show you because I'm filming with would be my camera. Some days I'd take my camera if I was doing studio work or I needed to go out during the day to take photos for my course. So that is what I used to take to sixth form. It is very unacademic. It is a lot of tech and things basically so we can go out, like my car keys, like money. But I just thought it'd be quite interesting to show what I used to take to six one compared to that video I did five years ago where it was all beauty stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video guys, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already, click the subscribe button. The link to my previous video, which was my A-level results and what I'm doing in my future, will be down below. Go give that a little watch and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! I'm going to drop it. Oh no, 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 no. Get in, get in the shot. Where is it? Dominoes go away. No one cares. No one cares, Dominoes. No one cares.